Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today for our session um, on an overview of the Marketplace product guidance. My name is Yas and I'm on the Seller University team. Our presenters today are Joaquin, Jessica and David. So with that, I'll turn it over to David to start our presentation. Hey, Yas, uh, thank you so much uh, for the introduction. Hello, everyone. Welcome again, and thank you for attending today. Uh, as Yas mentioned, my name is David, and I will be one of the senior account managers guiding you throughout this session. Um, at the end of this webinar, you will be able to identify the available marketplace product guidance tools, access these tools, understand their eligibility requirements, and last but not least, explain their benefits. Marketplace product guidance can help you explore, um, assess, and seize opportunities for both global and domestic catalog expansion. Today, we'll walk you through um, accessing available tools, eligibility criteria, features, and benefits. So let's first talk about the three recommendation tools available through marketplace product guidance these tools offer recommendations based on your catalog and can help you understand potential demand for expanding your catalog in other marketplaces the global demand for your products tool also um, known as the cross listing tool can help you identify additional stores where you could expand your business based on estimated opportunity size on which products might be suitable to offer there on that specific marketplace the new selection recommendations tool also known as new products tool uh, lets you view high demand products in each marketplace and uh, finally the category insights tool also known as the advanced research tool this one provides you with customer preferences selection and competition metrics for fair risk categories in the marketplace where you are currently selling availability so the global demand for your product tool is available for selling partners operating in the u.s amazon store and looking to expand to the united kingdom germany and japan also the new selection recommendation and category insights tool are available for sellers operating in the u.s uh, united kingdom germany and japan Now, a really important topic, these tools provide several benefits, including um, customized recommendations for and insights into multiple browse nodes, projected demand for recommended ASINs in the next uh, 120 days, which is estimated using learning models with over 600 attributes, personalized opportunity scores indicating current demand for recommended ASINs across marketplaces, and data refreshed weekly to capture current demand and fluctuations. How to access? So um, you can access the three marketplace product guidance tools in a number of ways. For one, uh, selling partners who have marketplace product recommendations from Amazon will find a card in Seller Central with the name Global Product Demand or uh, New Selection Recommendations. The cards indicate the number of high demand product recommendations across marketplaces. Click these cards to visit the Marketplace Product Guidance Recommendations for an easiest way to access. Another way to access the Marketplace Product Guidance tool is via Seller Central uh, menu. From this menu, you can access the Marketplace Product Guidance uh, page via uh, two menu options. For the first option, open the main menu, hover over growth, and select Marketplace Product Guidance. This will take you directly to the Marketplace Product Guidance page. You can also open the main menu, hover over Inventory, select glo Sell Globally, 
And then on the sell globally page, click the marketplace product guidance link near to the top of the page. This will take you to the marketplace product guidance page as well. This page features a dashboard that provides an overview of all three marketplace product guidance tools. So as seen in the image at the top of the menu, you can choose the best tool to be used considering on where you'd like to grow your business. For example, if you're interested in global expansion, choose the global demand for your products. This tool will provide you recommendations on how to grow internationally. So what can marketplace product guidance do for selling partners who want to expand their business globally? Let's say um, a US seller is curious about potential German demand for their existing catalog of products. So the global demand for your product tools can show you personalized, a personalized list of products from your existing catalog in the source marketplace in this case. And in this example, the US that have demand in target source. So various attributes such as opportunity score are generated based on estimated demand for sellers products in their target store. If you believe you'll have success selling your products in those stores, you might consider adopting these recommendations. So going into the tool itself, here are the features of the global demand for your products tool. Source store and target store drop-down lists. So this list represent the source and target marketplaces. Here you can view the target marketplace where you have an opportunity to expand your current selection. ASIN with zero offers. ASINs that are new to the target store and grouped under this category will show on this specific portion. ASINs with at least one offer. ASINs that either were sold previously or have matching ASINs offers from other sellers in international stores are grouped under this specific category. Opportunity score. So the score is personalized product ranking unique for each seller based on the predicted demand for all ASIN recommendations in the target marketplaces. The opportunity score ranges between 750 to 1000. Uh, so pretty much the higher the score, the higher the demand for the product in the target store. Sales forecast. So this estimates the opportunity for each ASIN in the target store in terms of unit sold potential over the upcoming six months. Another great feature of the global demand for your product tool is download product list. You can download all the product recommendations for a given target store. First, use the target store drop down list to select the desired target store and download the recommendations individually. Since these recommendations will vary from country to country, you have to be really careful when you are selecting this information. The template includes ASIN information and you can fill in details like SKU, price, quantity, condition type, and a condition note. Once complete, upload the updated file in the target store using the following steps. Open the Seller Central main menu, hover over catalog and click add product via upload. Use non Amazon template in the upload tab. And click upload. You also have the option to submit feedback, which I highly encourage you to utilize to help building more and better based uh, tools on your needs. So you can select multiple ASINs by using their corresponding checkboxes. You can accept or decline the recommendations by using the reason within the window. There are two different ways uh, to provide feedback. The first one is by using the thumbs up and thumbs down icons that you might be able to see under the feedback column in both the global demand for your products and new selection recommendations tool. 
This allows you to provide feedback on each individual recommendation that will appear on the page. Also, next to the download recommendations button, there is a feedback button, which allows you to provide general feedback for each product. Your feedback helps us improve your future recommendations based on your interest and will help us to develop better products as we go. All right, thank you, David, for presenting the global demand section. Now I'm going to go over and explain a little bit about the new selection recommendations tool. The recommendations are applicable to sellers looking to expand within the marketplace where they currently sell. What David presented us is how the recommendations can help you sell globally. This portion, this tool will help you in your domestic market. For example, a seller can use these recommendations to understand which products are in high demand but have few active offers. These recommendations also are personalized based on the categories in which the seller actively is selling. And now let's check out some of the key features of this new recommendations tool. The recommendations it provides are customized based on the categories, as we said, in which the seller have active offers within the marketplace or across marketplaces if the accounts are linked. The Target Store drop-down will allow you to view recommendations across marketplace within the same region without leaving the page. For example, if it's a Europe seller, you can change the recommendations from UK to Germany Store without changing pages. You can also access recommendations details and features like product name, filters, opportunity score, feedback, and a lot more. And finally, let's cover the last tool that is Category Insights. Category Insights is relevant primarily to brand owners who want to develop new products and understand customer demand for specific features. It provides information about particular products performance within a browse node in supported stores. This tool, Category Insights, also helps sellers research categories they wish to expand to. It's seller agnostics and surfaces the metrics of all the top browse nodes for categories in the US, Germany, United Kingdom, and Japan. Let's look at the features of Category Insights because it has a lot of information, very useful information for sellers. First, let's go to filters. Filters are ranked by demand and competition scores to guide sellers to categories, product types, and browse nodes in the highest potential. The next option is demand indicators. The demand indicators help sellers understand demand distribution. Feature, it features indicators that include return ratio, which is the number of units of products returned versus the total unit purchases in the select browse nodes in the last 30 day period. Another indicator that includes is search to purchase ratio, which is the number of ASINs purchased versus the number of ASINs that appear in the selected browse node in the last 30-day period. But the time period also allows sellers to choose between 30 days, 6 months, and 12 months for demand and competition metrics. And even though this tool, as we said earlier, is specifically designed for brown owners, resellers can also access this page. And once they access this page, they can find information that might be useful for the research, for example, offers and selection metrics. This section provides indicators that sellers can use to understand the competition and the opportunity in any given category. Also, there is top product features, and this is very important because it are they are ranked by most purchases indicating feature level demand in the marketplace. And at the end, there's also favorite features that allow the seller to add all the features that they want to see, that they prefer to a favorite feature list. And that list can be downloaded and with a button to extract, and you can use it for your offline review. And let's recap. We have covered so far Marketplace Pro Guidance um, that provides recommendations through three different tools that me and David presented. First, global demand for your products, new selection recommendation, and lastly, category insights. 
these tools help sellers discover new opportunities to promote their products based on the information in our recommendations. All right, let's go over some of the common questions that we received. The first question is, what is the difference between list globally and global product demand cards in Seller Central? The global product demand card is the entry point for Amazon's marketplace product guidance, global demand for your products recommendations. This card is shown to all professional sellers who have active demand for their ASINs in the international marketplace. On the other hand, the Lease Globally card is shown to all sellers and guides them into the Build International Listings page. The tools in this page can be used by sellers who have already registered and linked their account with an international store to syndicate offers from the U.S. store. The next question is, where does Marketplace Product Guidance make recommendations? Marketplace Product Guidance currently provides recommendations in the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, and Japan. And next question, what is Opportunity Score? This metric helps sellers rank their ASINs and list them in the Amazon store with confidence. We use several factors that are taken into consideration to determine that demand. For example, customer reviews, sales velocity, sales conversion, and many more. The opportunity score, score is a range between 750 and 1,000, 1,000 being the perfect score. That means high demand for this product in that marketplace, as well as high likelihood of success when you sell that product in that given marketplace. And the next question is, what happens if a particular program on the marketplace product guidance is launched in a marketplace, but the seller doesn't have recommendations? The sellers will be able to see relevant program cards on the marketplace product guidance tab. There will be a message on the program page that they currently don't have recommendations. So thank you guys so much. Um, we hope to see you again later this week or next week and have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.